uh, Metable Custom is a great tool to produce spheres uh, in a, a desired location, which I will be talking about later, and desired radius, we can change them, and how they are affecting each other by a number or a parameter, and how we can just slice them and have them have the results, have the curves, and what actually is metaball. So, first of all, if we want to draw a metaball, we can just search meta, M E T A, and you can see that there are three different tools about metaball. But uh, actually, the best one, which I like the most, is the metaball custom because you can control the points, you can uh, tell Grasshopper where you want to uh, slice the mesh and actually it's the best so if you go to the mesh and to the triangulation submenu you can see that metaball custom is uh, right underneath the metaball okay so first of all we need a set of points and I can just extract the points and set it to different points maybe four and we need a charge input so it's positive values only. I will be talking about another plugin later in the future that can give negative values also and it's a, just a great 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 plugin but in this uh, grasshopper uh, canvas and where you're working in grasshopper you only can give positive values to metaball so if we have four points we have to give four charges as a list. I'm, uh, I'm using uh, I'm going to the params and using gene pool even it's uh, it's used for optimization but I'm going to use it because it will give you a set of uh, number sliders which you can control so if I double click on it you can um, uh, tell how many number sliders you need because there are four points we will produce four uh, this is the decimals and this is the minimum and maximum of the sliders so let's give it a try 20 to 100 and connect that to the charge so you can see that there is coming out a curve but that's not just that's not, that's basically the plane that uh, in the XY plane uh, slicing the meshes so uh, if I change those points you can see that there is uh, there is a metal ball but we need more details so the third input is the plane of the metal ball section plane and you can easily produce the overall volume by uh, making an XY plane and uh, just increase it by make it multiplied by an linear array so I'm just searching for linear you can use linear array here or just search for array and linear array and array these planes in the Z direction uh, that makes the metal ball visible because it's just slicing and the section plane is uh, making the curves all over the volume so if we uh, decrease the number we will have smaller sections in the height and more details and if we increase it we have uh, slices in a, uh, just have more, less slices and a coarse uh, repro uh, reproducing uh, of the metal ball and if I just give it a count maybe 50 you can see that we have 50 planes which we will be sectioning the metal ball let me just turn this off and you can see when I increase or decrease the results we are just uh, telling grasshopper how many sections we need from the metal ball uh, the next point is it's uh, slicing and sectioning in, sectioning it from the XY plane to up upwards so we can easily extract this origin, extract the XY origin and 
move this down by a gumball and let me increase the count of the sections okay you can see that we uh, can easily have the uh, main volume you can see it and you can uh, easily change it by moving the points so uh, this is the best method if you want to section it with a, a little bit of tools so the next point is that uh, there is a threshold and that's the ISO curve of the metal wall it's based on uh, on a uh, model of voxel system of uh, modeling it's called voxel and uh, if we give it a number from 0 to 1 and increase the number if I increase the number there is uh, there is the result you can see there are just spheres isolated spheres here and we can have the radius and when we uh, decrease the threshold uh, when the spheres just come near together they are infusing so uh, that's the parameter for uh, defining how those spheres are uh, produced and uh, you can see that easily if I change the number of radius I move the points uh, I can have it and I can easily make the curves out of here and the last input is the accuracy and you can just leave it blank but if I give it a number from something like 12 let, let make it let it make it from 0 to 12 and if I give it a 0 it's just actually the same but when I increase it you can see that those meshes are getting coarse and coarse it will make it faster and of course it's not the exact result so you can see that the uh, changing of the parameter is going to give you different results you can change the radius of those spheres and you can just delete the uh, last input to have exact and the best result you can have uh, you can play with those curves but um, let me just explain a little bit about how you can do it better uh, first of all uh, I will be talking about metal balls in a uh, detailed uh, lesson in the grasshopper course but if you just zoom in you can see that it's a polyline and those outputs is because it's just uh, sectioning the mesh it's a polyline we if we give it a surface it uh, it will take a little time to produce the surfaces so you can see that it's taking the time and what oh, okay let's zoom out see the results and if we want to uh, want it to uh, want it uh, to be a better one a faster one just let me show you if we go into display and choose the widgets the profiler widgets okay you can see that 10 seconds is the time we use to produce the surface and it's a lot of time it's 100% of the energy of the uh, algorithm we have produced so how can we just decrease this and make it faster because if we want to change the radius we will be just waiting each 10 seconds to see the results and what I can do is go to the curve and go to the spline and uh, excuse me go to the utility of the curves and let's smooth the polyline the smooth polyline tool is a great tool if you just want to make it smoother that's the first uh, first step we can use and the smooth polyline give it here the number is one it says it's the maximum smoothing strength and we don't change that but if we uh, change the times to something like 12 you can see that the overall shape of the metal ball is changing and if I just sh let this preview off you can see that uh, it's changing uh, so uh, this is another way to make it smoother and the next part is it's still 
a polyline and if I connect this it will make uh, 10 seconds to produce the surfaces so the last step is to use a rebuild curve let me just zoom in and uh, the rebuild curve is a great tool to make the polyline to NURBS so I'm going to use rebuild and I'm going to give it a 3 degree and this is the 3 degree for a NURBS curve if you give it a 1 you can see it's still polyline and the best is 3 for NURBS 2 is poly arc and the count can be just something like 50 or 100 to give it a control point um, give it enough control point to see the results because if you just um, don't give it the desired number of control points let me just decrease it to show you you can see that the results is not just as good as enough we want the want, we want the curves we want the uh, form of the metal ball so we increase that and that's a great way to increase the speed of surfacing a metal ball so if I just connect a surface see it's just uh, fi uh, 51 milliseconds instead of 10 seconds and that's great so uh, if I change the numbers you can see that we are seeing the surfaces and we see the results you can extrude those surfaces uh, in Z direction and give it a number that's maybe the exact number for the uh, linear array so I'm giving it a 1 and you can see that this is the result so just move this and you can see that the metal ball custom you can ch just create it easily and if you want you can move this original point upwards to just make it uh, make the section start from an upper uh, position or the an upper position of the point so uh, this is a uh, a little uh, introduction to metal custom you can do great things you can uh, make it and uh, just section it with a curve and have uh, different sections of the metal ball you can uh, section it in a line and have another result uh, but um, I will talk about this uh, talk about metal ball custom more and more but you can use a plugin to make it more and easier to use uh, the metabol method uh, so this is the video tutorial about metabol custom thank you for watching if you have any comments or you have any questions about grasshopper commands feel free to put them uh, underneath the video or in the website and I will try to uh, record those videos as soon as I uh, as soon as possible uh, thank you for watching.